A study just released says that almost 50,000 women without a uterus ages 50 to 69 may have died due to estrogen avoidance caused by the findings of a 2002 Women's Health Initiative study. That 2002 study outlined the dangers of estrogen replacement. We spoke to Dr. Holly Thacker at the Cleveland Clinic, who says women and their doctors need to stop being fearful of treating estrogen deficiency. The bottom line is that physicians should not be afraid of prescribing estrogen to hysterectomized women who are estrogen deficient. It's not only going to improve the quality of their life, but likely the longevity of their life. So it's really um, kind of a game changer in that we're not just talking about the use of estrogen for the lowest dose for the shortest amount of period of time for treatment of symptoms. We're also thinking about it in terms of prevention and lifespan and quality of life and work productivity. Dr. Thacker reminds her patients that any one study is just a piece of the puzzle. It doesn't tell you the whole story and you have to individualize it to the person that you're dealing with as opposed to a different population of much older women, maybe women without symptoms, women with or without hysterectomy. With Everyday Health, I'm Taryn Brill.